Oh my god, yo, let's just talk about Onimusha. Eight episodes, let's get to the first episode, let's get it poppin'. So we got this dude by the name Musashi or whatever like that. He's in there cooking niggas, the top 11 niggas or whatever like that. But we found out he been cooking 33 of these niggas in like three days. So he's got to go on this mission with this dude by the name of Kaizen, right? Now you got to keep in mind, Musashi is a legendary samurai or whatever like that. Kaizen is one of the monks. Now the Grand Master Monk or whatever like that, he's got this box from him or whatever like that. He's got to carry this box with him. So what's in the box? We don't know yet. Musashi is a meeting with niggas up in the forest or whatever like that. He got like four, five, six niggas, you know what I'm saying? They getting the pop, whatever like that, right? The leader of the group is a dude by name Musaki, whatever like that. The one that doesn't talk, his name is Genshu. Genshi, my bad. So the thing is, Musashi was to beat this nigga by the name of Honest or whatever like that. But he gets with this group and they got to fight off this motherfucker by name of Lemon. They don't even know if they trust him or not, whatever the case may be. But bottom line is, Lemon is a target for them. Honest is a target for Musashi. But that's even here nor there. It gets to the point they've been traveling through the forest or whatever like that. Then we get some backstory on a couple of people. They really don't want to travel with a monk with Bob Miners, you know, say all these niggas are samurais or whatever like that. But they go travel with the monk off the strength of Musashi because Musashi is like one of the greatest swordsmen of all time. But the thing is, we never seen him use a sword yet. And he was cooking niggas with his bare hands. So we're like, oh shit, if he gets a sword in his hand, we already know, you know what time it is. So it gets to a point where Musashi is talking to, um, I'm going to call the head nigga Mushe because I keep fucking up the names. Bottom line is Mushe talking to Musashi. He tells about the traitor monks they missed or whatever like that. They brought him back to the jungle. The thing is, he had no arms and legs or whatever like that. But the thing was, he was still alive. And he had this symbol on his head. We will get back to that in a minute. Bottom line is, it gets to the point they've been crossing. It's been dark, you know what I'm saying? It's a campfire or whatever like that. And then Musashi is like, yo, we got three traitors amongst our midst. We're like, they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then Masuki comes out of nowhere and says, yeah. I'm one of the traitors, nigga. You're like, what? So why did he say this? Because Musashi, when he was talking to him in the water, he seen his arm lifted up, whatever like that. He had the same symbol that the traitor that had brought to the land, the one that had his arms and legs cut off, whatever like that. They had the same symbols on their head. He had the one symbol on his head, the guy had a symbol on his arm. We're like, oh, shit, they part of the same clan. So now it comes to the beef, and bottom line is, oh, you go see Mushashi he actually use a sword. We're like, oh shit. So he's up chopping off arms, dismembering niggas. He was like, yo, Mush Mushu got done deal. Mushashi's like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. All of a sudden, he see a tongue flashing. We're like, what the fuck is this tongue coming from? Turns out Genshi is lashing his tongue like a goddamn wizard, and we're finding out, like a lizard. When we're finding out, Genshi is actually being controlled by Lemon. So we're like, what the fuck kind of powers Lemon got? He cooked a Mushashi for a minute, and all of a sudden, it was like, Kaizen, hey. Pull out that goddamn box. And he pulls out the box. And what the fuck comes out of that is a goddamn gauntlet. Now, what is this gauntlet for? Musashi gets it, puts it on his hand. And it's supposed to be delivering demons, infinite deaths, and all that other shit. He can have uh, the power to destroy demons and things like that. When he comes with his genjutsu and his motherfucking sword powers and everything like that, you all give niggas the business. Samurai action. The thing is that he finishes off Genshi, but the thing is he got to take that gauntlet off whatever like that because the power of the gauntlet actually is able to corrupt souls including his own kaiser puts it back in the box done deal right now the thing is they continue on their mission and then these niggas is like yo you said it was three corrupt niggas you end up killing two so who's the third the thing is he said yo it's two it was two traitors but the thing is it's three corrupt niggas the third corrupt nigga is me musashi i'm like oh shit what the fuck is going on so the rest of these niggas still go follow him because he's the greatest motherfucking swordsman of all time in the goddamn country? Like, what the fuck is the deal? This shit is bonkers. Eight episodes of Mayhem. You already know what time it is. Only Mushu on Netflix. Check it the fuck out.